This time we are going to discuss OR gates. I'll try to convert three input OR gates to two input OR gates with inputs A, B and five input OR gates to three input OR gates A, B, C inputs. Okay, let's verify which connections are correct. Please notice that we have input A and B. A input, I have B input, and the third input is connected to B. That's why this is going to be also B. At this moment, you're supposed to realize that OR gate represents addition. Okay, so we have A or B or B, because B goes to these two inputs. These variables represent zeros or ones. If I have B or B, any time I have identical variables, okay, right now I'm not talking about A. Any time I have identical variables, I'm supposed to look at the truth table of OR gate. Any time two inputs are getting the same logic level, output is simply whatever these two inputs are getting. So when I have 0, 0, output is 0. When I have 1, 1, output is 1. So if I'm giving B, B, I'm supposed to get B. That's why I'm going to write that this is equal A or B. And this is nothing else, just the logic expression for two input OR gate. So this connection is correct. Let's take a look at this one. We have A, we have B, and we have 0. Again, this is the Boolean addition. So I have A plus B plus 0. A plus B is simply A plus B. And plus 0, I don't have to write 0. Okay, this is equal right, to A or B. This is simply the logic expression for two input or gate. So this connection is also correct. Let's take a look at this one. We have pull-up resistor, and I'm going to have one over here. I have A, B. Let's take a look what we'll have over here. We have 1 or A or B. Look at the truth table. 1 or with anything gives me 1 at the output. Okay, one more time. 1 or with 0 gives me 1. And 1 or with 1 gives me 1. 1 or with a or B will give me also 1. 1 is not logic expression for two input OR gate. That's why this circuit is incorrect. This circuit doesn't represent two input OR gate. Now, so let's look at these two examples. I have A B, C over here, and C is going to go also to the fourth input, and C will go also to the fifth input. Now let me write down the logic expression for this gate, and I'm going to have A, or B, or C, or C, or C. Again, we have C, or C, or C. Remember what I said? Anytime we have the same logic levels, we're supposed to just simply keep, keep the, the level, okay, by itself. So I'm going to have simply A or B, and instead of these three C's, I'm going to write simply one C. Instead of these two zeros, I'm going to write single zero. If I, instead of these two ones, I'm going to write single one, okay? So instead of these three C's, I'm going to write 
just C. So this is nothing else, just the logic expression for three input OR gate. So I can say that these connections are correct. I can I can do these connections in order to obtain three input OR gate. Let's take a look at this one. I have A, B, C, and because these two inputs are connected to ground, I'm going to have over here 0, 0. So let's write what we are going to get at the output. I'm going to have A or B or C or 0 or 0. 0 or 0 is 0. 0 or A or B or C is simply A or B or C. Simply I ignore these two zeros. And as you can see, this is three input OR gate logic expression. Okay, this is the logic expression for three input OR gate. So in order to convert five input OR gate to three input OR gate, this connection is also alone.